Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, that's my UPS. And um, I think I had the option to go into the software to turn that alarm off because that's annoying. But the UPS is on because we've been out uh, without power for about five hours now, five and a half hours. The power went out at around four o'clock. It's now 9.37. And I'm using the UPS to charge up my laptop because my battery was low. Because I was trying to figure out how to get this thing to work. I forgot I had this. I don't know if this ever caught on. I was meaning to get a small battery operated TV. But this allows you to use your laptop as a TV. So you just plug this card into the express card 54 millimeter slot and it has an antenna on it and you can pick up local broadcast stations so I'm going to see if I can get my laptop battery charged up and then get the local news on what's going on so what I finally realized is that just do away with installing any of the drivers of software that comes with this because they're all for like Vista and XP and there's just something strange going on when I plug in the card I, d I was thinking that there was going to be a light always on but that's not necessarily the case and I use Windows Media Center to um, pick up the stations to scan the local stations and then watch the local stations and I just figured that out as the batteries uh, got down to under like 12%. So I'm waiting for these um, UPS to charge the laptop batteries. And if it doesn't get above 50%, I have another UPS that I'll plug it into to, to uh, charge it further. So my camera's having uh, trouble focusing in low light. But here's the card, WinTV. And you just plug it in and the Windows automatically this is this laptop here has Windows 7 and it automatically detected but I was expecting this light to always be on that's not necessarily the case and this is the antenna a little stubby antenna here it has about six feet of cable Allows you to pick up the local station. Well, I just figured out how to stop that annoying alarm. And it's just you keep this pressed. So the, the bar is uh, not going through that anymore. So that should beep. I don't know if it's every 30 seconds maybe. Yeah. So now I just keep this pressed, and there's a bar going through there now. So I'm at 56% charge on the laptop battery, but when I turn the laptop on, the uh, calculated time remaining on this UPS is... Um, I think it was down to 30 minutes. So, right now, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Back up again. Turn that off. down to about 86 minutes I don't know how, how accurate that is but I want to put everything to charging the battery maybe the power will be on by then all right, I'm back. It's 10.52. The power's been out since 4. I'm up to 83% charge on the 
on the laptop batteries. I brought down my second UPS so it's actually charging uh, with the laptop on. The other UPS was down to 33 minutes with the laptop off and I'm sure that would have just gone down to zero if I turned the laptop on. It's good to drain these batteries anyways to exercise them. But I just waited, I don't know why, I waited like 10 minutes for this Windows Media Center center to load up. And uh, so if I go over to live TV here, got the antenna hooked up. And let's see what, now you can download the uh, local schedule for your area code and get it updated so you know um, what the what the it's like a TV guide for your local area but because I don't have an internet connection maybe maybe when I load up this Windows uh, Media Center it's trying to hook, uh, connect to the internet but uh, I, I'm gonna I'm going to need to update that guide once I get my inter internet connection but I don't know if I can remember how I scanned for I, I had to go into settings I, ha I have to scan for channels I don't know if I have to redo that all right I want this on too long that's it that's CBS whatever program it is I'm trying to find the news so you can see there I can download the guide listings for my area code. I'll do that later. So I need to go into settings. And TV. Guide TV signal. They don't have a guide. TV signal configure a TV or monitor that's not it all right there it is so set up TV signal scan for more channels let's see what happens uh, changing these settings will affect TV recording and may interrupt TV or radio. Do you want to continue? Yes. So these are the stations, I think, from the last scan. And it says I have 25 available. But I don't know what some of these are. Now this here is showing the signal strength on these stations. So what I'm doing is just removing the check box for everything I want removed that has low reception or low signal strength. This just must be the same as um, when it scanned for the 25 because this is just scanning for everything I think so probably didn't need to do this all right so I've got the local news on here I'll leave it at that yeah so that's the watch HD TV on your notebook PC TV adapter I don't know if these ever caught on or not but it's coming in handy with this power outage If you found this video interesting, please like, subscribe, and or comment. Give it a thumbs up. Share. 
Thanks for watching.